absolutely nothing about this Okay. Game. This is not a game. game. This is anime a... thing. I don't know nothing. So... See, exactly. I'm just proving my own point. Okay, this is a book that I oh, read, like, book. forever ago, and it's, like, the fandom is just coming back on Tumblr, and we're all like, this book series is not as good as we remember it. Let's all die together. Oh. But, yeah. So, basically. Okay. yeah, that was none of the things I guessed. <laughs> but it's all right. But, yeah. It's a book series, and also has a an, not an anime, a manga adaptation, sort oh, of. I, I've just weird. never heard of it. But this, yeah, so. so basically, there's it's about these six kids who all like got experimented on when oh, they were no. little children, and now they have bird wings on their back. Oh! And at some point, they got rescued from the evil lab, and they live in the mountains. Till oh. one of them gets kidnapped by the lab again. Oh no! And they have to go back and save her. Okay. So, all right. I don't. Huh. You give me strong angel. Angela. My fan I was thinking Angel Star. Angela? Yeah, okay. so we're going Angela. Okay, her name is Max. Her full name is Maximum Ride, which is where the title comes from. Oh. Because they all have kind of weirder sounding names. They all name themselves. Yeah. Okay. And she's like the leader of the flock. She is like, she's like very like tough and strong and like cares about everyone. Really okay. deeply this boy hello are you the angst <laughs> yes he is <laughs> all right hmm. i don't know why i'm afraid this one mort your name is mort <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry you probably don't deserve this your name is mort <laughs> as of today Okay, his name is Fang, cause Edge. All right, and he is—he's like the super like dark brooding one, but he's right. also sarcastic. Of course, he's so also, he's the Nico yeah. D'Angelo. All right, and he is—he also um, he and Max become a thing. Of course they do. Because, yes, of course. This is my favorite. I love him. Two pieces. He looks a little bit like Biafia, like in that picture. But in. All of them. But it's okay. Yeah, I don't see it. It's alright. When he's not in, in that one, a little bit he does. Alright. We're gonna call you James. Are you serious? James? It's like his actual name his parents gave him. Wait, when he got is it actually? <laughs> it's not like his, his, he actually has a different name instead of that, but that's like his name when he first... Oh, Oh okay. my gosh, this is great. So this do you want to know what I was thinking of, to be honest? <laughs> Here's a call-out post for myself. I was thinking of James from Team Rocket. <laughs> but, okay, I love that so much. <laughs> See, I just thought you said okay. James because the author name was right there. But oh no, I didn't even <laughs> notice. <laughs> but his name is Iggy, oh. and he is Iggy Azalea. <laughs> he's blind, oh. so but he's also like wait, if he's blind, why is he wearing glasses? Because he has because they disguise at one point and he gets like. Something. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and but how he, can like, he fly if he can't see? He can like hear really well, and he like okay. help the others help him and stuff. But he's also like he makes bombs with one of the other characters and stuff. And right. He's a good boy. I like him. Okay. Oh. oh. All right. Okay. Hmm. 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 Veronica. Veronica. Her name is Nudge, and she's like the only one in there that like she wants to be normal and try out like normal people things. Oh. And at one point she says, "I want to get my wings cut off and go like the normal school." Oh no! You look like a friend. (laughs) He is a friend. You look like a friend. Lucas. I like that. His name is Gazzy. His full name is the Gasman. I prefer Lucas. I do him sweet little boy, and he makes bombs with Iggy. Nice. And I like him. This Aww. also, she is, um, Yazzie's biological sister. Aww. Maddie. Maddie. I like that. Maddie. Her name is Angel. Oh, so I... Yeah. Okay. When you said that, I was like, oh, I want to say... <laughs> She's Angel. Right. Fine. But yeah. Okay. She's the littlest one in the group. And also, I was gonna freak. I was gonna do this when I first set it up, but I was gonna have you guess some of their powers. Also, have powers and stuff. 
Oh, all right. They have they have powers. Okay. Yes. Besides the wings, they show up for like a sentence and then are never mentioned again. All right. I bet she can control light. That's because of this picture right here. Partially. Those are just feathers, but it doesn't like, matter. It's okay. Yeah. Don't. She can. She can fly really fast. Is her power? Oh, wow. And, wow. Yeah. What is his power? Being really edgy. <laughs> no. Um. Scientifically created to be an edge lord. <laughs> Me? Honestly, that'd be so funny. Um, I bet it was meant to be like super smart, but it backfired and then it became the ultimate edge lord. <laughs> I like that. That's it. That's what his power answer. is that he can like camouflage. Like if he holds really still, he can disappear and not notice him. All right. Yeah. Sure. Well, I mean, you already said he has, like, a really good senses, aside yeah. from being blind. Uh, but I bet that... Mm, I think the first one is flying really fast. And the second one is being able to camouflage. Maybe his is, like... I don't know. Microsoft's, like, being really positive. <laughs> That's a lot of power. <laughs> Just gives friendship speeches is what he does. <laughs> Friendship bracelets. They're imbued of positivity. <laughs> Honestly, I was thinking with that. Okay. Okay. All right. He can, um, if he touches something, he can see what color it is. He can also, huh? Like, if he touches something, he can tell what color it is. What? Why would that be useful? I don't know. It's kind of, it shows up for, like, a scene and it's never mentioned again. It's like everything in Voltron. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. And, Don't mind me, I'm not salty. <laughs> and also, like, you can see white, like, if there's a lot of white. Like, they go to Antarctica at one point. Okay. It's one of the dumber books in the series. Okay. They go to Antarctica to stop global warming, because the books got dumb. They were, the first three are all like, we're gonna save the world and stuff, and then it's like, global warming is bad! <laughs> wow. So they all became social justice warriors. <laughs> it's okay. Pretty much. Yeah. Right. I bet her power is like mm, I like that or something and I like, completely forgot. Mm. I bet her power is has something to do with like changing herself, so maybe it's not that. That would be cool. Alright, okay, so yeah, we're just gonna go. Maybe she has super strength. I was gonna say she has super strength. Yeah. Think of she else. has a couple powers. Like she has the ability to touch something, and like she can like it's sort of weird. Like she touches something that another person person touched. She can like kind of learn about them. What? Like, it's weird. Basically, it's kind of the easiest way to describe it is like at one point they're trying to hack into a computer, and she touches the keyboard, and she can see the person who is working at the computer and what password they type. Okay, that's weird. It is. Kind and also, she can she's sort of magnetic. I bet he's like a tech genius, like Edge. He's like he, he makes bombs, but it's like not like all right. Okay, that's fair. <clears throat> Maybe. Okay, wait. So we went from like being able to fly really fast, being able to camouflage, being able to see what color something is, being like magnetic. Yeah, powers don't. Really Think of the most out there power. Alright. Maybe he can talk to animals. It does have something to do with him talking, but it's not with animals. Maybe he can talk to technology. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all I got. <laughs> okay. He has the ability to mimic. Oh! And it's like absolute perfect mimicry. Alright, that's cool. That is her one. powers. What are her powers? I don't know. I'm trying to think who she reminds me of first. She Child. reminds me of a Ding and Rampa character, but I can't think of who. Monica. Oh yeah. Hmm. I think it's just like the eyes. It's okay. I bet she has the power to. Is she the one that gets kidnapped? Yeah. I, I bet she kidnapped. has Maya powers <laughs> and gets kidnapped. <laughs> she's like Maya's reincarnation. She, she's, she's like a beacon of trouble. 
pretty much. That's it. That, that's what. That's my power. Okay. She's got <laughs> Maya powers. She has a few different powers. Um, her main power is that she can read minds. Of course she can. Also, it slowly sort of develops in that she can basically mind control, sort of. I was going to say, like, manipulation. Yeah, kind of. But I prefer and Maya powers. She also has gills. She can breathe underwater. Uh-huh. Half of the characters, like, have them towards the end of the book. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, like, second of all, Boo, I don't think those wings are big enough to like, yeah. actually let you fly. This is not one of the characters. You got me? <laughs> <laughs> is that you? I'm going to name you Gaspin. Gaspin. Like Gaspin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm just going to imagine him with that voice from now on. And that is <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that was my like, perfect it's imitation. Beautiful. His name is Jeb Batchelder. Jeb? Yes, Jeb. Like the dude who made Minecraft? Yeah, one of them. I, I know, I know. Is the other one's Notch. Notch. Marcus. I know. Marcus Notch, so your guess is from earlier. <laughs> yes, I was right! Oh, that was the right thing! <laughs> it's okay, it's alright, it's fine. But yeah, he's the scientist that saved them the most confusing characters because he saved them but then he works for the bad guys but then he doesn't but it's also it's confusing okay and also it's revealed that he is Max's biological father ah uh, alright so yeah okay that's something and this boy Wolverine <laughs> <laughs> see it's it's weird it's like oh look at that soft boy and then he's like spook you are gonna name you Shi Long Wei this is who you are. I'm sorry. Um, Either that or Will. Your name is Will. Will. His name is Ari. Mm-hmm. I want you to guess how old he is. I'm going to give you two guesses. Will guess. 17. I guess. 33. He is seven years old. What? <laughs> he is Jeb's son, again. And he was just a little kid at the school. He, he wasn't an experiment at first until all of them left when he was like three years old. So the scientists were like, well, Jeb left his son here. We're just going to turn you into a wolf person. As you do! <laughs> you know! And it had also somehow changed him to, to actually look like he was, like, 30-something. Which what? Strange <laughs> and confusing. I'm really confused. I am, I am too. But he's a good boy. Also, the wolf people in this series, like the half-wolf, half wolf half they're called the race. No. The series has weird names for lots of things. Like the lab they're taken from is called the school. Okay, yeah. I guess. We have one last character. You look like a mom. She is a mom. Is she a good mom? Yes, she is a good mom. Her name is Janine. Or um Yeah, where's she like Janine? Janine. She is uh Dr. Valencia Martinez. I like her a lot. She is Max's mom. Okay. She's a veterinarian. I like her a lot. But yeah, and then I was going to include more, but then I couldn't think of anyone. Also, it's fine. I feel like it's important you should know that Angel has a pet dog named Total that can talk. Total? Total. Like Toto, but with an L. Like and he can talk. Toto dial with a dog. All right. Yeah. And I also um, imagine that he sounds like John Mulaney. <laughs> That's so good and valid, and I appreciate it. But yeah, and that is the end of the video, and it was fun. Yay! And now we're all done with all of them. And that was like two hours well spent.